What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this is one that's actually been highly requested for a few months now. It's been a long time since I've revamped my out the shower list. I'm literally just fresh out the shower, clean shave and everything. And it got me thinking, I haven't done this in a while. And there's some long term channel favorites here and some stuff that I kind of gravitate towards nowadays more so than some of those kind of out the shower classics here on this channel. So I've got eight of them that I want to talk to you guys about. So stay tuned. Starting with one of my newer favorites that I've just fallen head over heels in love with. It basically smells like Sprite. It smells like lemon lime, a little bit of white flour, some neroli, and vetiver. It's that simple. It is Vibrant Vetiver Delight from Paris Corner. This is supposedly a clone of Bal de Freak from Byredo. I don't find it super close spot on, but it's clearly a clone, but I actually like this better than the niche fragrance it's cloning. I'm telling you, it looks like the color of the bottle. It smells like freaking lemon lime sprite this stuff's beautiful average slightly above average performance it might surprise you at least on my skin it very much surprised me how well this one performs uh, i just i love wearing it casually during the day it's just a fun refreshing vibrant and uplifting scent profile it's hard to not like and super fresh citrus like this absolutely perfect for out the shower so one i've been reaching for lately vibrant vetiver delight from paris corner Another go-to of mine is actually my weakest performing way to smell like Elysium Parfum Cologne from Raja Parfums. This is Trillium from Paris Corner, another Paris Corner fragrance in their Amir range. I love this fragrance. So it's very bright, metallic, and sharp. A little pissant atomizer. See this? Smells great though. Sharp grapefruit, a little bit of black currant gives it this inky metallic feel woodsy vetiver but crazy fresh like so much more fresh in my experience than even elysium parfum cologne problem is it's a weak performer three to four hours on a good day hour of projection on a good day so it's on the weaker side of performance i'm sure some people get less some people may get more but for me that makes it perfect for a running errands type of fragrance a gym fragrance when i want this scent profile when i do wear something to the gym and most importantly like we're talking about here fresh out of the shower when I just need something weak and enjoyable when I'm winding down in the evenings this is absolutely freaking perfect for that and that's Trillium from Paris Corner it's an Elysium Parfum Cologne clone this next one is kind of a cheapy classic hype beast around 20 bucks will get you a big 100 ml bottle sometimes you can even find the 200 ml for that price it is Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas Got to be his best seller, most popular fragrance. Super cheap. Smells like a more fruity melon take on Versace Mano Fresh. It's in the same vein for sure. God, that smells so good. And, and look, I, I haven't sprayed anything yet. Looks like we're wearing this because, yeah, it smells great. You can't go wrong here. The hype is real on this one. It doesn't perform worth a crap, guys. If you're looking for something that's going to last more than like three hours, maybe four hours if you're lucky. Look elsewhere. Don't go into this super cheap hype beast. Cheapy hype beast is basically what it is. Thinking you're going to get much out of it. Some people seem to get a lot worse. The infamous 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half. You never know. Your mileage is going to vary. If you do buy this, go into it with knowing it smells great. It does smell a little cheap, but I mean, 20 bucks. It smells great, especially for the price and performance. It's not going to be great for anyone, but some will get better than others. Some will get worse than others. But out the shower, it's absolutely perfect. So much so that I was like, heh, decided to spray it on. Here we are. My scent of the night. Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas. The now seemingly discontinued greatness that is Sean John 3 AM. This is an all-time great among what used to be cheapies. Probably the best celebrity fragrance ever, in my opinion, for multiple reasons. First and foremost, it smells incredible. It's a beautiful citrusy grapefruit, gin and tonic, tonic water type of smell. A little bit of this odd fig leaf, um, bitter fruity woodsy tone with a soft leather, but the most important thing, let me do it on this side so it doesn't spray my collection. The best atomizer ever. God, it smells so good. Such a unique fragrance too. I don't have any other fragrances that smell like 3AM. It's sad that you can't get it super cheap anymore. I mean, it's not outrageous on eBay and places like that, but when you compare it to the 13 bucks I paid for this fragrance, it's outrageous now is how you can look at it. So if you can find this one cheap, it's still a cheapy gem. 
uh, not so hidden when it comes to the internet community, but to the masses, it's a hidden gem, hence why I'm sure it got discontinued. But it's greatness. It is absolutely out the shower greatness and one that I still wear for that purpose to this day. And that's Sean John, 3 a.m. A favorite over the years of mine out the shower, Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct together. Smells like the original, meets Invictus Aqua, hence the color scheme meets a little bit of YSLY. It's metallic, it's sharp and bright grapefruit. It's cheap and synthetic smelling, but out in the air it smells awesome. Very aquatic. <sighs> Beautiful metallic shower gel, watery aquatic, musky, super musky. Decent performance, nothing crazy. Four to five hours in longevity. For the, that solid hour to two hours, believe it or not, great projection. You can choke yourself out with this one, and I have gotten my share of compliments with it. I know some of you, that's very important to you. But out the shower, this is another one that, to me, is an all-time great long-term in my rotations. This has been featured many, many times in the weekly rotation as an out-the-shower fragrance over the years because it's that jam. It is that good. If you've never smelled it and you see it out in the rack stores for 20 30 bucks or whatever, I think it's a worthy, safe, blind buy, but that is up to you to decide how to spend your money. But for me... It's one of my favorite out the shower freshies of all time. It's Abercrombie and Fitch, first instinct together. If there was such a thing as a green and peppered spice shower gel, it would come in a Jaguar Pace bottle. That's pretty much exactly what this smells like. Probably below average performance. Anywhere from like three to five hours. Typically I get about four or five hours in longevity. A lot of rosemary and pepper with an ambroxan smell basically, even though that's not exactly the notes. I believe rosemary and pepper is definitely in there though. So my ceiling fan's right here. That's why you see it just flying away as soon as I spray. So it's a little difficult to do my spray and whiff in this particular spot that I've been filming the last couple of videos. But nonetheless, the fragrance is incredible. You can get it super cheap, not long ago, very recent. Fragrance Buy ran a buy one, get one, however much off. And you could get this for like 11 bucks for 100 ml for a little while there. It might have been a 60 ml, but it was super cheap. But even at the like $18 you can get this for from Fragrance Buy down in the link below. It's not just a great out the shower fragrance, it's a great casual fragrance. If you like the more easy mass appealing blues, shower gel type of stuff, like I said, and you like spicy fragrances, this is fresh spicy shower gel at its finest. I don't know a better way to describe it than that. That's why I keep going back to the well, and I'm going to be a broken record if I don't wrap it up and move on to the next fragrance. So, one of the better ones, especially out the shower, Jaguar Pace. Now, in 2022, this was my most worn out the shower fragrance. This was the number one fragrance featured overall in all 52 weeks of the weekly rotation for 2022. Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot. Now, Ferrari discontinued their fragrances. I do have two bottles of this, but this is a beautiful, yeah, it's synthetic, don't get me wrong, but sharp green citrus, beautiful bergamot, fresh greens, the juice colors fitting. God, so zesty, fresh, a little spiced and green. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so good. I love spraying this one out the shower. Now that I'm smelling it, had I not sprayed Blue Seduction, I'd be spraying this on because, in my opinion, I don't know if it really gets better than this. If we were ranking it, I think it's sitting in the right spot at number two because my all-time favorite is last, but... I mean, I don't know how easy it would be to get these days, guys. If you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. Don't overpay. It is not worth 50, 60, 100 bucks, whatever. I don't think it's worth that for how good it is out the shower. There's tons of stuff you can get for 20 bucks that are great out the shower fragrances. A lot of them are in this video. But if you do have this, you understand. It's great. It's on the weaker side. You can spray it heavy. It's enjoyable for two or three hours. It's a great bergamot scent. Again, that's Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Last but most certainly not least, from my rotation, the greatest of all time, Nautica Classic. Eventually I'll get to the end of that bottle and get to that backup bottle. I just wore it a couple nights ago. Yesterday, actually, at the recording of this, I wore this last night. It's still basic. It's still nothing special. It's just a nostalgia pick for me, guys. That's why I get, oh, should I blind buy it? Should I get it? I mean, you can. You can still get it for like 12 bucks online. It's totally a safe blind buy. Just know that it's it's a it's a shell of its former self. I do have a vintage bottle. I had, you know, original bottles back when I was a teenager and everything, uh, late teens. It's it's not what it used to be. It used to be a bit more floral and woodsy. Like it had more depth and character to it. Whereas now it's kind of a generic saltwater fragrance that doesn't last like two hours. But it you know it reminds me of 
the younger days, the you know early 2000s, if you will, late 90s, early 2000s era, back when it was just called Nautica, and the glass was green with a different font, and the atomizer was not translucent plastic green. Like, things have changed, but it still is one of my favorites all time. My most worn in history when it comes to just chilling out after a shower and spraying something fresh, it's this one. I had to save kind of the, the goat in my collection when it comes out shower for last. I did revisit it yesterday, so the timing was perfect with Nautica Classic. Well, there you have it. Fresh out the shower with eight of my all-time favorites and current favorites, kind of a mixture of the two for fresh out the shower because I like to take my showers in the evening unless my day warrants a shower during the day. It'll be a double shower day because I don't like to get in the bed in the evenings without showering first. That's just me. Maybe I'm weird. Who knows? But until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What's some of your favorites to wear out the shower, whether it's fresh in the morning or late in the evenings? What's that one for you? Just a fresh thing to lounge around? I'd love to know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the eight that I enjoy, and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.